Okay, people, here we go. Hi, everybody, and welcome to my 2000th video. You know what this is, don't you? That's right. It is a best padlock. Not just any best padlock. This one is a very special best padlock. Set the camera down for a second, and we're going to open it right here on camera once we get a focus. See, it's got a polished brass core. Watch this. That's right. It also has a control key marked Bob's lock and key, and do not duplicate. And we can pull the core. All right. I hope you enjoyed the 2000th video. Actually, do y'all know what this padlock is? Does it look familiar to you? Well, anyway, uh, if you've been watching my videos for a long time, it should look very familiar to you. Because this very lock, almost six years ago, pretty much started my YouTube career. You remember the video where... Hi there, this is Andrew Reams, and I have an ordinary padlock for you. See? And you know what we're going to do with this ordinary padlock? That's right. Watch this. Ah, that was pretty crappy. Let's try it again. Yeah, you remember this. That's right. My first video ever on YouTube was of this padlock spinning. Excuse me. I believe that was back in August of 2006. Now, almost six years later, that's right. I am uploading my 2000th YouTube video. And let's go inside. It's too hot and humid out here. I hope you can see me. Well, anyway, I just want to take a moment to thank you, my audience, for watching me to where I was able to upload 2000 videos because. I wouldn't be uploading 2,000 videos if nobody was watching them. So, I just want to take a moment to give a big thank you to my audience. Thank you so much. With that being said, let's take a look at the trusty Timex Iron Man. I just had to do that. But as you can see, today is uh, June 24th of 2012, and it's just after 8 p.m. Now, we're going to look at... The Crackbook Computer. Here we go. Well, I wonder what this is. Does this look familiar? That's right, it's my YouTube channel. We're going to take a look at a few things once I can get the scrolling to cooperate. Here we go. Let's scroll down. We're going to take a look at this right here. That's right. This video you're watching right now is the one that changed that number over to 2000. Of course, the 1999th video features the Wild Eeper, who is quickly becoming a very good friend to me. Let's take a look at some stats here really quick. I was right, I joined August of 2006, back when I used to be very active on Flickr. I had a DSC T1 camera, and a good friend of mine was telling me, um, Andrew, uh, you need to open up a YouTube account. I go, YouTube account, what's that? He's like, it's just like Flickr, except it's for videos. I'm like, videos? Huh. But I don't, I don't really have any videos to upload right now. He's like, go make one. So that's when I went out on my front porch and uploaded that spinning padlock way back in 2006. And almost six years later, this is what y'all have done for me. That's right, y'all have given me over 27 million views and 5,500 subscribers. And again, I just have to say a big thank you. Now I'm going to talk for a little bit about what's gone on with my YouTube channel and what's going to go on with it. Um, back when I first started a YouTube channel, I've always loved elevators. Well, anyway, um, I had just discovered my T1 camera took videos. 
I mean, I knew it had a movie mode, but I thought it was just a gimmick. I didn't realize, hey, I could shoot uh, VGA videos at 30 frames a second, which back in 2006 was pretty good quality. Well, anyway, um, as far as elevator filming, um, I've been filming elevators since 1993. Well, anyway, um, in February of 2007, I got hired on with Norfolk Southern Railway, and their training center is in McDonough, Georgia. Well, anyway, I was down there, and I had a day off, so I was like, hey, I'm going to drive up to Atlanta and refilm in the motels that I filmed in in 1993 for YouTube. So I go up to the Hilton Hotel and the Marriott Marquis in Atlanta, and I filmed the glass elevators for y'all. I remember I uploaded them while I was in Atlanta over the hotel's high-speed internet, and within a couple days they had like 20 views apiece. That was a laundry basket. 20 views apiece. That was a lot of views for me back then. That was because I was pretty much a YouTube nobody. And here I had 20 people watching my videos and commenting and all that stuff. I'm like, wow, I'm on to something. Well, then, uh, it wasn't too much later, I was checking on my YouTube channel. I'd upload some airplane takeoffs. And in the related videos, I found a user called Music Freak CC. Because I, I was like, holy cow, someone else has filmed the elevator at the Mary Marquis. There's other people interested in elevators. And then I started thumbing through related videos. I spent about two or three days watching videos from Gloos, Patrick Neds, Music Freak CC, just to name a couple. And I was like, wow, there's a whole community of this. And uh, that's when I really started hardcore filming. And pretty much the rest is history. Um, all y'all have made me a wonderful YouTube success. And... Again, I just want to say thank you. So, all right, now for the future of my channel. Um, now that I've got 2,000 videos, uh, what do I want to do? Do I want to keep uploading? Do I want to slow it down a little bit, call it quits? Well, as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to, I'm going to keep, as long as y'all keep watching, I'm going to keep uploading because you want to see my backlog folder? Check this out. Let me show you my backlog folder here. Let me get into it. Macintosh HD. That's my lovely wife right there, by the way. Movies. And here it is. This is the famous folder. The YouTube upload. Let's take a look at it. Let's get info and see how big this folder is. That's how much I have in my YouTube upload folder. So that, that, that's going to give you an idea of what's going to be coming. As you can tell... I've still got a lot of stuff to upload. I got some stuff from the Wild Eeper. Still got some stuff from Candy Cart. Filmer 765. Got some stuff left over from that. Heck, I got stuff dating all the way back to 2009. Look at all that stuff right there. 310 items in the general backlog folder alone. Now, let me dig here in the St. Louis trip. See that? 131 items alone from St. Louis. And once the road trip video is finished, which is coming along well, I'll start uploading the St. Louis stuff again. But there's one really awesome video in here I want to show you here. Let's see here. This right here. This is a freight elevator from 1913. I guess I can give you a real quick peek. Alright, we are going to get to ride this amazing old freight elevator. The elevator operator is going to hold my camera and film me running the elevator. Now we're going to take the elevator back down to the lobby. Here we go, going down. Whee! Now this is what I call an elevator. This is one of the coolest elevators I've ever ridden in my life. So, there's still plenty to upload. All right, um, trying to think if there's anything else I want to vlog about right now, because I, I know uh, I posted on Facebook about what y'all wanted for my uh, 2000 video, and I got a lot of requests to do a vlog, so I guess I've done a vlog about my YouTube channel. So what are we going to do now? I have a great idea, and I think y'all are going to love this. Um, how would you like to see... All the elevators in the Diesel Deucey building. 
That's what I thought. So let's go and take a look. All right, uh, Evan and Aaron, uh, two two four zero eight. Aaron and the little one, the little Rubik's one, call this the Andrew Reams Museum of Awesomeness. So let's go ahead and turn on the preheat fluorescent light. There we go. And we got some incense burning in here. Look at this. But as I go through this, I'm going to be giving out some special thanks to the people that have provided all these awesome items you're about to see. At the top of the list of people I want to give a special thanks to, the first person I want to give a big thanks to is Tom Seibert. Tom, you are an awesome person. And the next person, or group of people I want to say thank you to, also involve Tom, and that's his wonderful company, C.J. Anderson. They are an excellent group of people. They're very good to elevator enthusiasts, and they make very high quality parts. With that being said, let's take a look at some stuff over here. This right here is a C.J. Anderson elevator call button that's been specially wired up to run off 120 volt AC power. Now watch what happens when you push it. See, it has a it's normally closed and when you press it, it opens it. See? This is made out of cast brass and it's very heavy and it's a very high quality part. And it's sitting on top of an Otis Lexan call station I got off eBay. However, um, Tom and his wonderful company put it in a box and put lights in it and now it lights up. This right here is an old Otis elevator button. This came out of a building in Washington, D.C., and I got this off eBay. Down here we have a Dover Impulse button. This was a gift from the little one, the little Rubik's one and 22408 Aaron. A big thank you to them. This is a GAL push button that came out of the Price Doyle Fine Arts building. Adam's emergency call button. Let's go on to another really awesome item. This is an old uh, Galler and Spec C.J. Anderson elevator panel. I got this off eBay, but I'm sure y'all remember this. Um, when I got it off eBay, it didn't do this. You know who made it do this. That's right, C.J. Anderson. And since we're here, um, and we have a real elevator alarm. Let's, uh, let's, how about ring in the 2000th video in style? Here goes. That was awesome. I'm going to turn it off. See, turning it off disables all the buttons. And over here, I have to give a big thank you to YouTube user Captain Elevator 42189. The University of Texas at Austin, there are some fine people down there, and Tejas Elevator. This panel came out of the Windship Drama Building, the freight elevator, but it was modernized. Um, I think it was earlier this year. Let's move up a little bit, and here we have a call station from the Windship Drama Building. There's the McDonald's lock and the Spam Mobile. Over here, we have a C.J. Anderson Type 404A elevator interlock. I think I unboxed this recently. This is a very neat item. There's the diesel deuce timekeeper. This right here is an Innovation 513 elevator lock. It takes the 513 elevator key. Now let's go on up a little bit higher. That's right. This is some of my padlock collection. We're going to look behind it. Back here, again, uh, the, 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 these elevator parts, I have to give a big thank you to Murray State University and to um, Dover Elevator, who uh, gave these to me when they were modernizing the elevators in the, the Price to Fine Arts building. This right here is an old GAL slash Alderson floor indicator. And we'll go up a little bit higher. Again, Captain Elevator 42189 and UT Austin gave me this really nice Dover Elevator call station. Pretty cool, eh? Put it back up here. And it stays, see? And when I turn the light, uh, you can see a little bit of light behind it, but 
Speaking of turning on the light, uh, we need to go ahead and do that for some preheat fluorescent action. Here we go. There we go. This should afford a better view of my GAL floor indicator back there. See it? There it is. All right, let's move over here. This next item brings me to YouTube user Candy Cart. I have to give a big thank you to Candy Cart for this beautiful Otis up-down indicator. And as you can tell, it illuminates slightly with the light being on there. All right, and now let's bring the camera over here. This right here, I believe, is an armor elevator floor indicator. Let me put it up against the light, and you can see the color it lights up. See, I believe this is off an armor elevator, because Sussex uploaded a video, I think it was from Macy's, and the indicator looked very similar to that. Now we'll come down here to where we got a couple call stations. This one was from the sixth floor of the Price to Oil Fine Arts Building at Murray State University, and this needs to be cleaned. I'm not sure what floor these were for, but I have an old GAL, I think this is the BAV1 key. See, it does the floor lockout. This one you have to jiggle because this is a copy. Again, a big thank you to Murray State University and Dover Elevator Company, which is now tissing me up, for saving these parts for me. See, isn't this cool? Up, down, arrow. This right here is a singing toilet. And over here, this came out of a, I think, candy cart, tell me, uh, did this come out of a Polk County Courthouse? Um, because candy cart uh, sent this to me and I have to thank him because this is just totally awesome. I think we recently looked at an unboxing of this and I've got it all put together and it's working beautifully right here. There's the up button. Or should I say, let me get it leaning against the wall properly, then it'll work beautifully. And they're going to have, Jacob's going to have to wait a minute. I'll call him back in just a minute. All right. Thank you, Candy Cart, for that beautiful panel. This right here is my 60s Dover panel. I got this off eBay from Colony Elevator. It came from some building in Chicago. Run, stop. Yes, it needs to be cleaned. ding ling ling Ring! There's the alarm. Did something weird there. And over here we have another call station from... The Price Doyle Fine Arts Building. Now let's swing back up on the dresser. We forgot to look at something. This right here is just totally awesome. You know what this is? A reproduction of an American elevator's machine plaque. You want to know who reproduced it? That's right. None other than C.J. Anderson. They are an amazing company. Thank you so much, Tom. Let me stick this back over here. Hopefully it won't fall over. Of course, there's my lovely boombox with a mini disc player. I don't know if you all ever seen one of these before. And there's no mini mini disc inside of it, so. All right, Ames says bye to you. Now we're gonna swing around over to here, and that's right. You know what this is? This is my dresser. And if I'm showing you this dresser, that means we have some more elevator stuff to look at. Maybe it's in here. Oh no, that's the padlock collection. Let's go down a drawer. Oh wow. It's me, Diesel Deucey. Hi everybody. Oh, there's Diesel Deucey. I think this is the first time we've seen you today. And what are you doing playing with the Cork RGB? I've been looking for that. Well, I just had to sit in there so I could show you your elevator parts. Well, Diesel Deucey, that's just a few of them in there, so... Uh, if you don't mind, Diesel Deucey, I'm going to narrate this. Okay! I'll sit back and watch. There's Diesel Deucey. Alright, that was interesting. Alright, so in here we have some very interesting stuff, it looks like. Right here we have a Kone hat. And this comes to us courtesy of Kone St. Louis. A big thank you to the fine people in Kone at St. Louis. They also gave me this. This is awesome. A Kone jump drive. Look at this. It's got a little magnetic thing. I really like that. And see, it's simulated wood. It's got Kone engraved in it. This is really cool. And they also gave me this Lehman. Get it out. It is a leather keychain, and this is beautiful. What's in this box? 
Okay, I'm gonna shake it to get it out. Oh, come out! Finally! <laughs> Didn't want to come out. Let's see what it is. This is a beautiful leather Kone wallet. Big thank you to the fine people at Kone St. Louis. Right here, we have a Schindler hat. Schindler. YouTube user Patrick Neds gave this to me, so a big thank you to Patrick Neds. Moving on. Beautiful Dover Elevators hat. This one has never been worn. It's beautiful, but this came from the worst seller I've ever dealt with on eBay. Very pushy seller. And look at that. Uh, made in USA for Dover Elevators. This hat is in beautiful condition. Too bad getting it was such a bad experience. It's beautiful. Let's see what else we have in here now. A Houghton Elevators patch. This came off eBay as well. Another Dover Elevators patch, but this one has the Canadian flag on it, and it says Dover Elevator instead of Dover Elevators. So I found that interesting. Here we have a New York Elevators patch. Let's look in here. What's this? This is a really neat piece. This is a old Otis drop key. It's got the two segments. Just a note to my viewers about drop keys. These are not toys. These can get you killed. The only reason I have this is for collectible purposes. With that being said, let's take a look at this one. This, I believe, is a GAL broken arm drop key. And as you can see, it looks like it's never been used. Still sealed up in the package. Both this and the Otis came off eBay. And I think this is the last item we have to look at in here. And a big thank you goes out to YouTube user Jimster586. Make sure you check out his channel, because you see these keys? These are elevator keys. About 90% of these were given to me by YouTube user Jimster586. And right here, I have about, I have keys to Schindler, Otis, ThyssenKrupp, Dover, PTL Innovation, Epco, Adams, just to name a few of them. I'd say I have keys to about <laughs> almost every major elevator company in the United States. So a big thank you to Jimster586 for this wonderful collection of keys. And again, uh, to my viewers, these elevator keys, um, these can get you in trouble if you don't use them properly. These are for collectible purposes. So a big thank you to Jimster586 for that. What diesel do you see? I have to tell, I have to tell the viewers something. What's that diesel do you see? I'm a real life train engine. Yes, you are diesel do you see now. Um, before we uh, move on, do you have anything else you want to say? Uh, thank you everyone so much for watching me through 2000 videos. Yeah. Well, that was very nice diesel do you see, so. I think we're gonna move on now. Okay, can I go back to the drawer? Uh, no diesel Lucy, cause you took my cork RGB and I couldn't find it last night. Okay, I guess I'll just go to the dresser. All right, now I think that's all that's in this drawer. Now let's look above the door. That's right, y'all know what this is. You know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking we're going to take this down and have a little bit of fun with it. How's that sound? All right. I just happen to have the tripod right here. So we're going to get the floor indicator right here, and we got the Quark RGB. Oh, wrong setting. Let me put it on a different... Uh, uh, there we go. Going down. Why does it start at 1? Now it's going up. Whoa, this elevator's going crazy! One. One you. Two. Oh, it changed colors. Three. Four. Five. Oh, wow, it really went crazy there. Six. And a blue up. Oh wow, this elevator's crazy. Now they're all lit up. Alright, there it is. That's my uh, GAL floor indicator from the Price to Oil Fine Arts building. This is the sign for my old dorm room in Whitehall. 
room 518, it fell off and it came home with me. Got some Dover elevator machine plates. So that's pretty cool. Now we're gonna move down here, utilizing the tripod again. And we got something really cool to look at right here. That's right, I'm sure you all know what this is. My Otis touch buttons. These are not heat sensitive, they're touch sensitive. Let's plug it in. This is hooked up to 120 volt electricity. This is very dangerous. If you have these, don't touch the back of them while they're plugged in. You know how these work. This one's not hooked up, but watch this. See, touch. Pretty cool, eh? Let me zoom in on that and you can see it closer. Awesome. All right, we'll take the camera off the tripod and I'll show you how I have it hooked up. First, we have to have some preheat black light action. Here we go. And to help us see better, we'll turn on the 32 watt preheater. There we go. All right, see, this is how it is hooked up. I'm going to be very careful because this is live right here. That's how I have it hooked up. I don't know much about it. I just saw a diagram on Flickr. Apparently this is what, this is the up. Now that's the down. This is the up. Of course, when you touch it, uh, once the thing is in right, it glows, see? So there you have my Otis touch button. Now we'll turn off this light. And I hope you enjoyed this tour of this part of the Diesel Ducey building. But wait, there's more. There's one thing we forgot to take a look at here. My Dover elevator belt buckle. <clears throat> this was given to me by none other than YouTube user Candy Cart. And this Dover elevator belt buckle, which I got off eBay. It's a Pacific Coast Region Safety Award. And look, it's got both a hydraulic and a traction elevator. It's got a lot of detail on it. Of course, here's the back with the thing to the belt. Let's go out into the family room and take a look around. Wonder what we'll find out here. We look at my Dynex TV and next to it is something totally awesome. Not the rotary. The rotary phone is cool. But look at this. I'm sure you know what this is. That's right. This is an Otis Lexan elevator button. But someone happened to make this really cool. We might have to look on the back to see who that someone is. Actually, there's no sticker on this one. But anyway, Tom, you know I appreciate this. Because look at this. It's got LED lights in it. Here's my best cutaway lock. Now let's look over by the Davenport. Here's the crack book. Look over here. That's right, my Seaberg call station. I love this. I actually take this to work with me sometime I'm in the hotel. This is a perfect night light. Now, I have a question. Has anyone ever filmed an elevator with these actual fi uh, fixtures? I know Suzex, uh, schindler Houghton, Falechia, uh, y'all up there in the Northeast. Y'all have these Seaberg elevators. Uh, if one of y'all find one of these, please film it for me. C.J. Anderson. There's the C.J. Anderson sticker. That's right. Got some elevator buttons in the family room. There's none in the kitchen, so we're not going to go look in there, but let's go in the master bedroom and see if we have any elevator parts in here to look at. So we come in. There's my awesome clock. But we have some elevator parts here to look at. Let's see what we have here. This item right here, I'm sure you all know where this came from. That's right, Captain Elevator 42189, thank you so much for getting this from the Windship Drama Building for me. Door open, door close, and the call button. Let's take a look at it here. I'm gonna go ahead and move it. Let's put it under the light. Yes, I have a ceiling fan. See, look at this. Call, door open. The door buttons have two contacts. See, and door close. And there's the in-use light. 
Now we'll put this, I'll just step this here for now. This right here, y'all know what this is? Does this look familiar to y'all? That's right. A big thank you to B&M Sheet Metal here in Roanoke, Virginia for giving this to the Diesel Ducey Museum of Awesomeness. This right here is a prototype for the Hotel Roanoke's elevator. B&M Sheet Metal did a lot of work on the elevators, including the floor indicator, at the Hotel Roanoke. So that is pretty cool, isn't it? Set this down. Got a Ford Best Logo Lock. Now let's look over here on the nightstand. Yes, the room is a mess, pardon me. I have a really, speaking of all my fans, I got a really big fan right here. This is my biggest fan right here. <laughs> but we also, we gotta turn this on so we can see better. Here we go. All right, now over here, this is probably one of my favorite parts too. It's my ABC elevator button. I'm gonna turn off the light and look at that. I wonder why it's lit up. I think CJ Anderson got their hands on this. That's right, yes they did. This is my ABC elevator button that has been made awesome by CJ Anderson. So, I hope you enjoyed this little visit to the uh, Diesel Ducey Museum of Awesomeness. But before we leave this part, we have one more elevator fixture to take a look at. That's right, my vintage Redding elevator fixture that came off eBay. So manually controlled elevator. You have your up button you hold down. Then you got your down button right here. And here would be the emergency bell. A very big part. Let me show you another part of the museum that's pretty cool. Oh, and Jimster586, I also have to thank you for making this museum really cool. Because the air conditioner's cranked up. That's right, he gave me that AC unit when I went to visit him. This right here is the cute little bike. And you know what we're going to do with it right now? We're going to start it up. I don't think it's going to start electrically. If it does, it'll surprise me because the battery was dead earlier. So here we go. Let's see what happens. Let me give it a little kick. That's right. I think you all said something about wanting to see a glass elevator. One that's vintage. So, here we go. Alright, we are now going somewhere very exciting. I wonder where we could be going right now. We are now sitting here at a red light in downtown Vinton. Right there is the Vinton Post Office. This is where I mail all my eBay items from. So this light will turn green any second. And we're gonna be making a right turn here. Uh, 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 here it goes. Now watch this. Let's go down Lee Avenue. Some 2000 video. I think I'll let you enjoy a ride to downtown. That's a police car right in front of us.
focused. I'm not looking through it because I'm driving. There's two cop cars. This right here is a very dangerous intersection. up here on the right? What does it say? Roanoke City Limit. That's right. We are now in Roanoke. You know, we get a big bump. Alright, now we're getting close to downtown. I cut off all the boring stuff, don't worry. You only missed about a mile, so. Around this next curve, you should see some familiar sights. And I hope you're hearing this and not just a bunch of wind. That's right, what city is that up there? That's right, that's downtown Roanoke. I don't know if I've ever filmed coming into downtown Roanoke on Campbell. This is Campbell Avenue, which, by the way, the Campbell Court is on this street. sitting here hoping this light will change soon. I'm going to pan the camera. This is beautiful downtown Roanoke. We're going to be making a left turn. I wonder what's over there. For all you crossing enthusiasts, look at that. And there we go. Now we're getting ready to go. I hope I don't get a copyright claim from that radio blasting behind me. I see something very familiar up, up, up off to the left. We get greeted with more red lights. Isn't this exciting? That's right. I wonder what that is over there. What's that, people? You know what that is. It's the Elmwood parking garage. And what they get to oh there's a turn arrow there. So they get to, we have to sit. They're on a Norfolk Southern supervisor. And we get green in three, two, one, flip it off. That's right. We are going to the Elmwood parking garage. You said you want to see a vintage glass elevator? Well that right there is about as close as I can get. We're going to go ride it. And since it's my 2000th video, we are going to go up to the seventh floor. We will go park on level two. Here we go. an hour parking garage. I feel special. Well, here we are on the second floor of the Elmwood parking garage. What's... Oh, oh no. Oh no. You know what I'm thinking? I just saw something. We'll have to go check something out here in a second. All right, people. There's Diesel Ducey. Diesel Ducey. Where are we? 
Where the Elmwood Garage? Let's go check this out. Oh no! This is the first time I have ever seen that. The elevator's broken. But, I still want to ride a vintage glass elevator. So you know what I'm thinking? Huh, vintage glass elevator. We're gonna go for another drive here. All right, we will now leave the market parking garage. My gas tank is on empty. But I mean, not the market, the Elmwood. Let's go ahead and see if electric works. Perfect. Where do y'all want to go now? A vintage glass elevator. We've ridden the market parking garage a lot, so you know what I'm thinking? Let's go check out a different parking garage. No left turn, I don't want to turn left, I'm going to turn right. Nobody coming? Here we go. And we get to stop at the red light again. Oh yay, 13 seconds left. Here you go, I'll let y'all watch that. Eight, seven, six, five. Now the light is getting ready to change. Now watch this. And we got jaywalkers. I know we just came this way. But we're going to make another left on Campbell. I think I want to go on Campbell. Yep, I do. Oh, I got 15 seconds to make my left turn. And yes, I'm not using any blinker. I hope I don't get seen. It's not a daylight, so we're gonna have to hurry up on this. That's right, all hope is not over. We still have access to a vintage glass elevator in none other than the center in the square garage. And like I said, since it's my 2000 video, we have to go up to level two. Here we go. watching all my videos. So we're going to ride the elevator at the center of the square and I am going to push the button. Here I go. Here it comes. And here it is. And, like I said, we're running out of daylight, so... New buttons, I like that. We're gonna go on down to one and try to look out the window. Not much of a view, because it's tinted. So... You know what? I'm not happy with no view. So you know what we're gonna do? Going up? We'll look out the window in the tent and see what we can see over there. Oh! I see the market parking garage. You know what I'm thinking? Watch the numbers. Let's get out here and get a view. Now that it's out of that tinted window, that's right. There's the market parking garage. Oh no, I know what you want me to do. And I think I just might do it. We're going to go over there and ride the market parking garage elevator for y'all. We get our cab view here. We all know this elevator. Since we can't see anything out, we'll watch the numbers. Here we go. Beep. 
button already went out. And here we go. Watch your step. This is a beautiful little park area out here. And up ahead, you'll see the fire station. Ooh, the cork RGB is up in the scooter in the center of the square garage. Sorry for all the shakes, I'll hold it with both hands. We should have enough daylight to see out of a non-tinted window, so... You know what they say, the third one's a charm. First one was broken. Second one was too dark to see out of. And here it is, the market parking garage. That's right. I have not ridden this elevator for quite a while, so let's see how she's doing. Maybe you could call this vintage. This is from like 1991 or something. Let's go check. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at this. She got painted. There she is. Let's ride her. Let me see. This is pretty fresh paint. Still the same inside. Here we go now. Let's listen to that motor. Get a little bit of a view. Here we are at six, and she's running really good today. Oh, wow! Oh, look at this. This floor is purple. You know what I think they did? I think they're color coding the floors here. Wow, that is one purple elevator. So you know what we'll do? We'll go ahead and get a view out here, level six. So we get a focus. And here is beautiful downtown Roanoke. You know what? There's one more elevator here, but I'll go ahead and give y'all a round trip on this one. Then we'll come up here. Actually, we'll go down to five and get off since we've... I want to see what color they have done there. They're color coding the floors. I hope this doesn't get modernized. Oop, they re-leveled already. Wow. Now I'll stand back here. Hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit better. It was a beautiful sunset, but look at the time. It's 9, 10, almost. Here we go back under. Look at all that space in between floors. And she's running great, by the way. All right, now we're going to go up to five and catch the other elevator. Then we'll watch the numbers going up. Actually, let's go one. Oh wow, one is orange. You know what this means? They color-coded all the floors. This is neat. Wow. There it goes. Let's go ride the other elevator. I hope y'all are enjoying this 2000th video. We've, it's been quite interesting. We've had a scooter ride, a, a vlog, a tour of the Diesel Ducey Museum. 
What do you want, Diesel, Lucy? I, I would just want to come out of your pocket. See, I'm, I'm really the star of the show. See, even though I have my name written on me. I am the star of the show. I am the star of the show. Don't go away, Diesel, Lucy. Look at that. Let's see if this one's working. All right, that's a good sign. I hear her coming. Actually, we're gonna start off going down. Her level is pretty bad. It's off about an inch. Put on the ground. Get the cab view. There she goes. She's making funny noises. Let's go and listen to her going up. There's that green again. Here we go, six. Let's listen to the motor. Big bump. And here are our snakes. Now we'll go on all the way back down. The door closed for us, and we'll press the bumper. Ding, ding. Now we'll watch out the window. And you can see the numbers too. Wow, she sounds good. And since this is a 2000 video, let's go look at floor two and see what color it is. And we'll get, oh, that was random. Door closed. And we'll get a close up of the indicator. Here we go. See what color? Ooh, wow, look at that. It's teal. Or, I don't know, it's a bluish green color. Well, that's weird. The accelerator's acting strange. There it goes. All right. I hope you enjoy this. Look around the market parking garage. You know what we're going to do now? That's right, we're going to go back to the scooter. And since I already filmed walking through that little park, we're gonna end the camera. We're gonna uh, pause the camera when we get down here. But all right, y'all want to see some more floors? I knew it. We've already seen one and two, so now we gotta see three, four, and five. Let's go check them out. Let's see what colors they are, and then we will exit the garage. Level two, here is our MPE. This is the healthy Vader. And here is this elevator. Love my impulse buttons. Dover Impulse is probably one of my favorite elevator fixtures of all time. With the exception of CJ Anderson. Let's go up one floor. See what we have on three, four, and five. She's got a big time delayed startup now. And 
It's taking a while to level. Three is orange. Weren't we already up here? I don't remember. Were we already on orange? Uh, can't remember. Three is orange. I think we're already here. Yeah. Now all we gotta do is see four and five, and then we've seen the whole garage. Oh, I know. Yeah, we saw one. Three. Here we go to four. See what four is. That is one late start. This is a bluish purple color. Let's look at the door. There's four. Now we'll go look at five. Then I think we've seen the whole garage. If we haven't, I'm sure somebody will correct me and I'll come back and look at it. Let's see what five looks like. Actually, it's running great except for that delayed start and leveling. I don't like that. Gosh, it takes forever. Oh my gosh, pink. Pink. Oh, I love it. Look at this. Five is pink. Look at that. The market parking garage elevator is pink on five. Wow, this warrants a video still. All right, now, okay, we'll go all the way up and then back down, and then we'll exit the garage. Y'all wanna look out the window going up on four? Over there, you can see the Sherman Square Garage. That's where the scooter is. Wow, it took forever to level. Wait a minute, okay, purple. Okay, uh, looks like they got the same color on some floors. That's interesting. Now here, we go down the ground. <clears throat> Here's your phone. Now let's watch out the window. Uh, this isn't going to work, so... There's a lot of space in between floors right here. Alright. I'm going to let you see something I don't think I've ever done before. We're going to watch the elevator ascend. We already saw the green door. Let's exit the garage. And now we're going to watch the elevator ascend from across the street. And here it goes. There's the market parking garage and the elevator should be going up any second. There it goes. You can see the indicator in there. Now I'll back off. And there she is, all the way up at the top almost. Look how high that elevator goes, see? There's the market parking garage. Now we're going to go back to the scooter. Since we already saw walking through here, I don't know, I guess I can video going back the whole way. Make this a very long video. I know what I'll do for y'all. Since y'all did not get to see the view out of the elevator, if you want, I'll run the elevator up for you. And then I'll call it back down.
Do you want that? I don't think we ever do. Yeah, you can't do this in the daytime. So you know what I'm going to do? Hopefully nobody will take it. I'll leave the camera right there, and I will be right back. And there it goes. And now it's at the top. And you want to see it come back down? All right, here it comes. Watch out here. Here it comes. And there she is. All right, let's go to the scooter now. And, okay, we'll go to five and watch the numbers. Finally getting low battery, so this video has to end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this elevator extravaganza in the parking garage of downtown Roanoke. Here we go back to the scooter. Here we are. And there's my cute little bike. And me! So, in conclusion, watch the elevator close up. And we got it too. I want to do it in conclusion. I want to thank all y'all so much for watching and allowing me to upload 2,000 videos because 2,000 videos is a lot of videos to sit through. Thank you so much. And with that being said, let's look at the trusty topics I am in. Whoa, what did you do, Diesel Ducey? I don't know, but. Where's your cute little bike? Good question, Diesel Ducey. Where are we? Uh, I don't know. But look at look down. It's my Seaberg elevator button. Let's push it. Lights up. Still want to know where we are. Looks like we're in a hotel room somewhere. But how we get here? Diesel Ducey? Don't look at me. You looked at the trusty Tom X Iron Man. Oh, wow. We just time traveled with the trusty Tom X Iron Man. That's amazing. But why did we come up here? <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look around then. Oh, George F551, you'll like this. Here's the 4 watt. Oh, my phone's charged. 4 watt preheat fluorescent black light. We are in room 231. That's right, of the Days Inn in Princeton. I wonder why we ended up up here. I just discovered that. My Timex Iron Man is capable of time travel. We are a little over a day in the future, and it took a little over a day to get here. That's amazing. So, since this is still the 2000th video, I think we need to do something really cool. Let's push the Seaberg elevator button. Speaking of elevator, 
I know what we can do. Cubs Rule 2040, I got a treat for you. We're gonna ride a wooden man-powered elevator. That's where the main man-powered elevator is. I'll tell you, since we can accomplish time travel, let's do something else cool. Let's speed things up a little bit. Oh, I gotta stop and catch my breath. I don't think I've ever ran that fast before. Wow. Here it is. A scenic, wooden, man-powered elevator that days in Princeton. Jim Lee Elevators, you ready for this? You know what? We're not just gonna ride it. We're gonna ride it with a Quark RGB on, uh, let's put it on blue, that's pretty cool. I know you like my Quark, Jim Lee. What a nice ride. Let's take a look at this man-powered elevator. How about let's make it red now? See, it's a wooden man-powered elevator. Isn't this cool? So you know what we gotta do now? Since it's the 2000th video, we gotta go up to two on the man-powered elevator. Here we go. Wow, that was fun. Look at the fixtures. This is definitely a vintage man-powered elevator, as you can see. Very vintage looking. So, let me catch my breath, and then we'll go warp speed to the room. All right, here we go. Wow. I don't think I can do that again for a long time. That was quite a sprint. Let's go back in the room. All right, people. We are back in the room. So, you know how we got here, right? We took a look at the trusty Timex Iron Man. Cubs Rule 2040, what do you think is going to happen now when we look at it? Let's see what happens now. Let's take a look at the trusty Timex Iron Man. Oh wow, Cubs Rule 2040, look when and where we are once we get focused. We are at the McDonald's at the Civic Center. I don't think we've ever been here before on camera. And look at this, a quarter pounder and a large fries. Let's take a look at the quarter pounder. I got no onion, no pickle on it, and it looks good. So, as part of the 2000th video special, Cub Jewel 2040, you are going to love this part right here. That's right. Here we go. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. It's nice and fresh. To drink today, we got an orange high C. Let's not forget the large fries. Let's take a bite of the fries on camera. Mm. Very good. So Cubs Rule 2040, I hope you enjoyed this part of the video. Alright people, I'm done eating now. As you can see, but something I don't see on the parking lot is my cute little bike. So I guess we're going to have to leave here the same way we got here. We're going to look at the trusty Timex Iron Man and see what happens now. Hopefully we'll get close to the cute little bike. Oh wow, look when and where we are now. I think we had an epic fail here before. Let's see what happens now. Oh, that's a good sign. They fixed it. So we do get to ride this elevator in the video after all. Awesome. Sure it's taking a minute to come, oh, but it's here now. Let's see how it runs. I'm glad they fixed it. Red for up, that's weird. Okay, you know the drill. Let's go to five. And we'll look at the famous view.
she runs as good as ever. So I'll go back down to one. We all know and love this famous view. I just think it's awesome that we did get to ride this elevator after all, thanks to the trusty Timex Iron Man. Here we're at one. What's that thing up above the light? Go ahead and get our cab. We're not going to take two rides. Here's your fit. Actually, we can take one more ride. We'll take one more ride. We'll get a cab view up the top. Since it's daylight, I'm not going to look at the numbers, but we will get our cab view. We all know and love this elevator. I'm just glad they fixed it. I'm afraid it's going to get modernized. So, that being said, we're going down to one. Here we go. We'll look out this way. Look at that leveling. She's running really good. Why'd they take that tile? Oh, you can see through the fan. That's interesting. All right. With that being said, there it goes. And just one more interesting thing. See this right here? We had earthquake a while back. That right there is earthquake damage. But you know what I don't see here? I don't see the cute little bike. So you know what we're gonna have to do? That's right. Let's see what happens when we look at the trusty Timex Iron Man. Here we go. Oh, wow. Looks like we went back in time a little bit this time. But where are we? That's right, we are at... Oh, we're up in Mill Mountain Park. Look at this. There's a beautiful view of Roanoke. Since we're up here, I guess we'll go ahead and pan the camera. I love Mill Mountain. I'm glad we ended up up here. Up there's the star. Oh my gosh, what's that in the parking lot? That's a Coca-Cola truck. Wonder what it's doing up here. Let's take one more look over here off the overlook. Do you see any familiar sights down there? Got a bug. Sorry about that. What's that right there? You know what that is? Here's the Elmwood Garage, the Market Garage. I think we rode those elevators earlier in the video. I'm being attacked by bugs, so sorry for the camera shake. Let's look over here. One more thing. If you look up there, that's the Roanoke Regional Airport right there. So wow, this 2000 video has been awesome. Again, I can't thank you enough for the tooth for watching 2000 of my 2000 of my videos with that being said let's head over to the parking lot I thought I saw something in the parking lot when I was walking up here there's the coca-cola truck I wonder what's on the other side of that car.
Oh my gosh, it's the cute little bike. That means we can go home now. There's my scooter. And we all know what a cute little bike it is. So with that being said, I think we're gonna jump on and go home. This video has been awesome and exciting and I've had a lot of fun making it. Let's take a look under the seat really quick. Oh, there's small McDonald's locker. Okay, so you know what time it is now. Time to jump on the bike, fire it up, and we'll head home. So here we go. Let's, let's watch going down the hill a little bit. Tell you what, since this is a 2000 video, let's end it exciting. Uh, you want to watch going all the way down into downtown? Or at least the bottom of Mill Mountain. All right, we'll do that. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. This is one pretty drive. As you can tell, we're going downhill quick. exit to the park. Right here is where the Mill Mountain Park is. This is the entrance to the park. Over there to your right, that's the Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, if they trim the trees, you can actually see the sign. And this way is downtown. That's where we're going to go. See downtown attractions. Down the hill we go.
called Walnut Avenue that goes up toward the top of Mill Mountain. See that bridge down there? Once we get over the, once we get to that bridge, we're officially at the bottom of the hill. and hits frozen treats. And we're gonna stop the camera. Did I hear someone say they want to ride another elevator before I ended the video? All right, I guess we can arrange that. How about something vintage? All right, a grand finale to this video. I don't think you could say more vintage than these old Dominions at the 707 building. Wow, they're not on peak up now. So with that being said, let's go up to five. And we know door closed does not work. That's a Dover capacity plate. We have Dominion distributed Dover. Here are five, the button already went out. I hear a fan out there. Still vacant up here. Now we're going to the lobby. And we'll get our cab view once the door closes. There we go. We all know and love this elevator. Of course, this is how you make the elevator ADA compliant. Here's your ADA compliant panel there. They lowered it. And there's the original panel. And in here you have a phone. And I'll tell you what, nobody's down here. Would you like to ride the other elevator? Yeah, as soon as that one closes. Oh wow, they are on pickup now. All right, let's go to five. And we have to wait for the door to close. So how's this for the finale of my 2000 video? You like this? Here are five. Here we'll stick the camera and take a quick look. See, this used to be a doctor's office up here. Isn't this cool? You can hear the relays. Listen. Oop, open. Now we just gotta wait. And this elevator's the same as the other one. Love these older GAL fixtures. Watch this. That's strange. The button stayed lit after I pressed it. And the door opens. And look at that lobby plate. We have something outside to see. That's right. It's the cute little bike. If I can cross the street without getting run over, we will go over to it. And now, all right, we're on our way home, but we gotta go down this really fun hill. Here we go. Whee! And we got a stop sign that we gotta stop for. Barely made that. That was fun. Look at that hill back there. All right, people, you know we're getting close to here now. That's right. Wonder whose White House that is there. That's right. This fun-filled adventure is coming to an end. And here we are back where we started. All right, people, I take it you know where we are now. That's right, we finally made it back from our epic adventure. In all seriousness, with that said, I want to take this moment to sincerely thank you for everything y'all have done for me as my viewers. I really appreciate y'all watching my videos. Thank you for allowing me to upload 2,000 videos, and I hope to upload 2,000 more. 
I really hope you enjoyed this 2000th video. It was a lot of fun to make. Got to get very creative with it, so I had a lot of fun making this video. I'm sorry it took so long, but I hope it was worth it. I guess with that being said, Diesel Lucy wants to come out and talk now. Hi everybody! Guess what? What Diesel Lucy? I am a real live train engine! Yes, you are Diesel Lucy. Do you want to say a thing before we end here? Uh, thank you so much everybody for watching my videos. And I had so much fun making them for you. And this 2000th video was definitely a lot of fun. So, I guess we're getting to the point in the video where I get to say, that's it. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. That's it.